on the turf and away they go from that 1600 meter marker. First one out is Flying Fellow, Admiral's Eyes with the blinkers, near the rail is Anifesto. That's followed on the outside by King of Torts and then Candy Moon near the rail, Royal Zulu Guard. Gold Onyx and Fourth Estate, the last two, they're about eight lengths off the leader. As Flying Fellow takes them to the 1,000 meter marker, Admiral's Eye picked and almost came down. That's with the blinkers on. Anifesto's near the rail, King of Torts on the outside and then comes Candy Moon. Further back is Royal Zulu Guard. Then Gold Onyx and Fourth Estate as they move now to the 700 meter marker. Admiral's Eye and Flying Fellow. Back in third is Anifesto. King of Torts is in the orange. Candy Moon is back fifth, about five or six lengths off the leader. Then Royal Zulu Guard. Further back is Gold Onyx and Fourth Estate in the back seat. Now they become compact, six lengths from top to tail. Top of the lane, Flying Fellow, the leader. Admiral's Eye with the blinkers on second. Anifesto's on the inside. King of Torch in the orange. Then on the outside, Royal Zulu Guard. Candy Moon also comes out for a run. 300 meters to go now. King of Torch on the outside. Royal Zulu Guard and Candy Moon becomes a runner. Gold Onyx running on down the inside. Candy Moon, Royal Zulu Guard, King of Torch and Gold Onyx down the inside. Royal Zulu Guard and Candy Moon. These are the two. Royal Zulu Guard and Candy Moon. It gets close. Here comes the line. Candy Moon won it. Royal Zulu Guard second. Maybe Gold Onyx and King of Torch. Number three, not in your picture just yet. Candy Moon's going to make it another victory here. And they win it well. A stable bang in form. That of Paul Gadsby will just win it. They end up winning at about a half head. Number three, Candy Moon. Second, number seven, Royal Zulu Guard. Third placing, Gold Onyx down the inside, then King of Tords. Run it across further. Fourth Estate, then Flying Fellow, the longtime leader. Followed by Anifesto. Ignore the run of Admiral's Eye. Picked at about the 1,000 meter marker. Take a look at that replay. So the two horses on the right hand side. The white sleeves and cap Candy Moon. The Lundy's Liability Sean Cormack. And Royal Zulu Guard. And they go eyeball to eyeball over the last 200 meters. And you'll find Candy Moon will just prevail by a half head. Recording his sixth win from 18 outings. And he just makes it home. That's the eighth and last. Craig Peters signing off. Got to say a sweet victory for Candy Moon has come through. All the supporters on course, the winning connection, the all year. They're going to be over the moon, and this horse has delivered. Yeah, um, you know, as I said early on, it, it wasn't quite cut and dry, and uh, it was a competitive race. Um, you know, the second horse on his day, he's, he's a very tough competitor. A um, few issues in the race, which were just, you know, <laughs> out of the blue. But um, eventually, once I'd straightened and got my run, it, it presented... Uh, a really nice clear run for me and um, and he did the rest. That last 150 had a right royal battle? Yeah, a uh, lovely little tussle and um, he he really you know got a little bit more out, out from uh, from the bottom to to get up and uh, full marks to him. Well done Sean. Thank you once again I can't say enough for Beth and for Paul and uh, too many owners to to you know thank um, but uh, really nice for, for this little horse to, to obviously to follow up and um, he's, he's a neat little horse and um, they're going to have a lot of fun with him which I'm sure they've already had. Uh, just as I say, once again, thank you to Paulie and to Beth. Uh, awesome. Really great run we're having and um, let's hope we can keep it going. Thank you. Super. Let's get Paul Gatsby in becoming the, the last race king. You won the last couple of races. Royal Colours came through. Yes and Star. And this horse, you've given the guys confidence. Yes, it, it was a lovely win and happy to be back on the grass for a change. I was, I was, I was starting to think it was just a poly track, but we can also win on the grass, which is lovely. But this horse is really talented. Um, you know, he gave nine kilos to a quite a fair horse. I thought Roldy Zulu got. I made him the danger. I said to the guys in the parade ring, 
you know, your executives who go with um, uh, Duncan's or Royal Zulu Gold because of the nine kilos. It's a lot of weight, and he had that talented Appian, um, Callan Murray. So I did respect that horse, and uh, this horse came through. I thought was flying colours today. He's a horse that you've built up nicely. He's gotten his confidence behind him, and there's still a few more wins left in the tank. So the owners are going to have something to really cherish in the next few weeks. Yeah, look, last time I said to him we were about halfway there, so, um, you know, without being facetious or cocky, um, I really believe this is a, a, a top runner. He's had his fair share of problems. We've given him the time. The owners have given us the patience, and um, my wife, Beth, done a hell of a lot of work with the physio on him, and our vet, Ralph Katzwinkel, he's got a share in the horse, so that helps a bit. And uh, what else can I say? It's, good, it's a good horse. Go enjoy the replay. Thanks, Al. Now the whole team, if you want to all string into here, we've got a team of the owners on course. They dressed for success, you were ready for action, and Candy Moon has not let you guys down. Uh, absolutely not, Sheldon, and uh, thank you, Sean, for giving us a heads up, heads down uh, ride. It was actually a beautiful ride. Uh, thank you to Beth and Paul, H2, the connection. I know Dan Pakras is standing here, but he's got shots, so we can't allow him in. Trudy, Morgan Pillay, and the team here. I think we're actually enjoying our racing with Paul and Beth, so well done to the team, and I hope there's many more to come. Well done. Well done, guys. Get into the picture here. And your run has changed now. You're having winners. Uh, yeah, you know, there was a bit of a drought for the last seven months. And uh, it, this month I've had seven winners. It's been incredible. Um, insofar as Candy Moon is concerned, once again, I'll just repeat myself and thank Paul Gadsby for putting me onto the horse. And it's been an exceptional investment. As he stands at the moment, uh, Paul owes me, and I don't know him for training fee, which is great if all my trainers could do that for me. Uh, last but not least, I'd like to uh, thank uh, Beth, who actually does all the work on Candy Moon, not, not Paul. Beth is, a, <laughs> Beth is the one who's made it possible. And to all my partners who are here, well done. Uh, and to my partners who are not here, well done as well. Thank you. Final say? Yeah, just uh, win number 45. I missed 44 with Candy Moon two weeks ago. And thanks to Beth, thanks to Paul, Sean Cormack. Gutsy horse, six wins, that's very nice. Thank you. Congratulations. Final word there, ma'am. We've got the whole team, so we'll save the best for last. Okay, I just want to say thank you to um, the jockey, Sean Cormack, um, and well done. Congratulations. Thanks. Well, the owners, they deserve their airtime. They pay the bills behind the scenes. They come to the course, and certainly Candy Moon has left a sweet flavor in their mouth this afternoon and has come through to register that sixth career victory. Paul Gadsby, Beth, the entire team, they've done wonders with this individual. And this is not the last time you're going to see Candy Moon in the winner's box. Thanks to everybody on course for making the production possible. We'll catch you Friday evening, night racing at Gravel.